Today, our search teams have recovered a body in the lake. Based on the location where the body was found, physical characteristics of the body, clothing found on the body, and the physical condition of the body, as well as the absence of any other persons reported missing in the area, we are confident the body we found is that of Naya Rivera. She was found in a northeastern portion of the lake near the surface of the water. The depth of the water in that area is, is between 35 and 60 feet deep, and there's heavy brush and trees on the, the lake bed there. As you can imagine, it has been an extremely difficult time for her family throughout this ordeal. As fathers, mothers, sons, and daughters, our hearts are with them, and we share in their grief for Naya's loss. We've been in direct contact with the family throughout this entire time, and we've kept, it, kept them updated on the progress of our search efforts throughout. Our hearts also go out to Naya's many friends and fans who have been holding out hope for the best over the past few days. Detectives from our Major Crimes Bureau began working this case from the onset. Their work on this case revealed there was no indication of foul play and no indication this was a suicide. Moving forward, Naya's body is being taken to the Ventura County Medical Examiner's Office in Ventura, where an autopsy will be performed and a positive identification will be made through the examination of dental records. Just to share with you a recap of this incident and our response to it, on July 8th, 2020, last Wednesday, Naya Rivera came to Lake Piru and rented a pontoon boat at the dock. She and her four-year-old son left the dock at approximately 1 p.m. and headed toward the northern portion of the lake. We identified specific areas they visited that day by looking at the shoreline features in the background of FaceTime videos when she was chatting with family members while out on the lake. We know from speaking with her son that he and Naya swam in the lake together at some point during their journey. It was during that time that her son described being helped into the boat by Naya, who boosted him onto the deck from behind. He told investigators that he looked back and saw her disappear under the surface of the water. Naya's son was later found asleep on the boat which was adrift in the northern portion of the lake known as the Narrows, when a leasing agent searched for the watercraft which was overdue for return. The young boy was wearing a life vest when he was found and he was wrapped in a towel. An adult-sized life vest was found on the boat. Several witnesses who were at the lake that day have been identified and interviewed by sheriff's investigators. Three, there were three other rental boats on the lake that day all of the people in each of those boats has been identified and interviewed. They had seen Naya's boat at different times and in several different locations during the window of time she was out on the lake. Those witness statements helped our teams focus their search in the northern and eastern portions of the lake. We received the call at 4.38 p.m. on Wednesday. Rangers at Lake Piru began searching the lake immediately. Our deputies arrived by 5 p.m., followed by one of our helicopters and an unmanned aircraft team, investigators, and a boat crew with divers. By early Thursday morning, we received assistance from several neighboring law enforcement agencies. Naya's family has expressed their gratitude to all those involved in the search efforts, and we would like to thank our partner agencies for their help in this search effort. Without their assistance, we could not have covered as large an area as quickly as we did. The following agencies provided personnel, equipment, and expertise to this complex search effort. The Lake Piru Rangers, the Ventura County Fire Department, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, the San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's Office, the Tulare County Sheriff's Office, the United States Coast Guard, Forward Operating Base Point Magoo, and the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services. We also received support from Fugro Geodata Services. This company completed a detailed survey and mapping mission at the lake just three weeks earlier, and it 
advance of the upcoming seismic retrofitting of the Santa Felicia Dam at the south end of the lake. They heard about the disappearance of Naya and offered their personnel and equipment and expertise to help locate her. Their detailed maps of the lake, along with their comprehensive knowledge of the lake, have given a major boost to this search effort, and we thank them for their assistance. That concludes my time. I grew up in Cleveland, but then I got to Toledo for college, and then I started.